silence is the inexpressible. It is the uh, ineffable. It's half of our existence in terms of our interaction with this world of discourse and experience. It's the hidden, mostly unexplored half of who we are as human beings. It's fundamentally embedded in everything that we do, in our relationships, in our work, in our waking and our sleeping. Silence is not just some dreary state of being deprived of noise, but that it in fact opens dimensions of experience that, that everyone can take sensual pleasure from, in addition to the psychological, physiological benefits. The benefits are now being shown in scientific work, clinical trials. It helps people to live better. It helps their mental health. It helps their physical health. Silence is a sound. And I think it's a sound with many qualities. It allows us to be much more balanced in the way that we relate to the world, much more conscious. The sound of a Harley sounds like music. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing. If you're going to have factory pipes, you might as well buy a Honda. That, 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 what's that particular? Is that the spot of sandpaper? We're built yeah, to function right. in these places. And to hear those distant sounds, it's entirely possible, I think, for us to raise a generation of children for whom this would just look strange and uncomfortable. All of our hearing apparatus originally developed as an early warning system. When sound is loud, we brace ourselves against noise protectively. The amplification of noise that we now have through technology makes sound much more pervasive. It's always on, it's always there. When does it become noise? That's a different part of the brain. That's the part of the brain says, you know, this particular sound is intruding on what I'm trying to do. This is unwanted, unpleasant sound. You just want to go buy a sweater and you're bombarded with loud music. You know, there are decibel ratings in New York in restaurants of 90 now. You're screaming at somebody from a foot away. You don't get used to it. You cope with it. And it takes effort. Somewhere there's mental effort going on to scream it out, even though it's not at the conscious level. That's 107 decibels kicking. When do we get to the point where we say, this is enough, this is an environmental concern? That's our, where I live, right there. My name is Catherine Harp Quinn, and I'm the head teacher at Hounslow Heath Infant and Nursery School. Noise is harmful to health. We're not talking about annoyance. The WHO is saying noise is now second only to air pollution. Cortisol levels, stress levels in your body, they spike upwards. Sustained stress leads to a breakdown in the system. Cardiovascular system is the most vulnerable. We have study after study after study. Silence is what you already have, right now. But you need to let it in. <laughs>